Yeah, what's going on people? Aaron Drapes representing the Mixtape Project. And I'm just going to do a quick tutorial about automation in Logic Pro, yeah? So for everybody that's wanted to know, I'm going to show you. Right, here we go. So you load up Logic Pro. File, what I'm going to do is open up something that I've already got. So, you know, I'm expecting you to be applying this to something, you know, a project that you've already got recorded. <coughs> got something that somebody sent me. Shout out to hair, shout out to Mikey Moet. Right, so um say for instance, this is the um, the master, yeah. So <coughs> if I wanted to use the automation now, this is how you use the automation. Right, so um I'm gonna play it. Yeah, yeah, yo yeah, alright, let's get it man. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, what I'm gonna do just for um demonstrations purposes, you know, it's not really too musical, but I'm gonna cut part of it, yeah. Um and I'm gonna show you how the automation works, yeah. So I'm gonna cut this section. Let me get rid of that. I'm gonna get my painter tool and go to my automation. Now there's nothing here at the moment for me to automate. You know, I can automate the volume, the pan, the solo, and stuff like that. But what I actually want to automate um, now is I'm gonna send in an effect. Yeah, so I'm gonna to go to the sends, go to bus, go to bus one. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to bus two, and that's got reverb on it, right? <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do because it's got reverb, I actually want it to have an echo on there. So I'm gonna hold Alt and press down. That will actually bypass that plug in there. Alt and press down. And channel EQ and that will bypass that and I'm gonna put a delay in there right echo now the send allows me to draw in as much of, of the effect that I need specifically at that point yeah so let me get rid of this loop all right okay and um, don't worry, I'm going to do a whole tutorial on using buses and sends. So look out for that one if you, you know, if this one's a bit too advanced for you at this moment. But um, you know, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go to main. Yeah, so I click on here where volume is, main, and I go to send one. All right, and then. I'm going to click down here because this is where my line is. Yeah, so I'm going to get rid of that again just to show you. Yeah, and you can see the black line here. Yeah, so I'm going to put one dot here, one dot here, one dot here, and one dot here. So if you do four dots, then that allows you to have control over this whole area. So this area is going to be affected by the echo, and you'll see that. Yeah, so if I just play it from here. Yeah, so basically, you can control how much of the echo you want to affect that part. The more you turn it up, the louder it will get as well. So just be aware of that. Okay, right, so that's automation. Basically, if you pay attention to over here as well, then you're going to see that, you know, basically if you just wanted to turn up the send for it to affect that track, that is what the automation is doing. Yeah. So if you keep an eye here, you'll see it affecting it. See, it just came and it went. Yeah. So basically that's automation by using send. So I'm going to get rid of this now. And what I'm going to do, show you how you can automate, um, something else uh, and what I'll show you I'll get rid of this quickly and put it back to how it was I'll show you how you can automate let's have a look 
So what I'm going to do is show you how you can automate the EQ, right? So say for instance, just before the drop, you want to take out some of the frequencies, right? And you want to give it like a filter effect. So I'm going to get, draw it back. Right, so you heard it then. So what I'm going to do is uh, click into here and channel EQ. So if you didn't have a channel EQ on there, I'll just reset the strip by holding down the setting. Reset channel strip. And then if you just double click in the EQ, it will just come up. Okay. Now in order to do the automation that I'm saying now, you're going to have to click on this last one, which operates down at the bottom end of the frequency band. And just move this up. Yeah, all the way. Now, you can either, I'm just moving it up to show you that you've got control of moving it all the way up to basically, you know, um, give you the bottom end or you can take out the bottom end by drawing it down okay now I'm gonna play it at the same time <coughs> excuse me so you can hear exactly what's what's happening and how it's affecting it right so that's basically what I'm gonna do but through automation yeah just what I did there so if I go on to here this is always where you would affect the automation from this little tab here underneath the name click on here channel EQ and then what it would be under is low cut frequency right low cut frequency now you can see that it's 20 Hertz this is at 20 Hertz right so if I just before where I it's gonna drop, okay, I'm gonna put a dot there. So I'm gonna listen to where I want it. To yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the that's the beat where it drops. Yeah, I'm gonna put one just here, All right? Cool. Then I'm gonna put another one here, and I'm gonna draw that up so that it does. Is it C? See that? You can see what, what it's doing. Yeah, it's just automating it. So basically, if I do it to come here and then drop out, it would have this effect. Let's just start in the beginning. Yeah. So you can see it moving yeah. here. Oh, all right, let's get it, man. Let's do this. Yeah. 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 So basically that's automation for you and you can basically automate nearly anything in Logic Pro which is what I love about it. I do love the automation of a program such as FL Studio, that's a different kettle of fish but with regards to Logic Pro you know you can automate nearly anything. So um, <clears throat> yeah that's, that's automating the low cut. You can also automate the high cut obviously so you know I'll do I'll go on to um, first of all you need to activate it if it's not activated that's the higher side of it right and then you need to push that up so it's basically nothing there right on the bottom end there'll be a little bit here where you know you can't affect it anymore yeah unless you click on that little there's a little dot here right here unless you use that we can get rid of all of it yeah but there still might be a little bit here but don't worry about that because you know it's hardly noticeable <laughs> all right <clears throat> so as i said i'm going to show you how to automate the high side of it so you click onto that bit again channel eq and you'll go to high cut frequency because it's the other side and that's going to be up here obviously because that's you know twenty thousand hertz which is up here okay so what I'll do is do another dot, another two dots, right? Because I'm gonna create a shape. And obviously you have to remember to do the two dots because if you don't and you just raise it, it's gonna affect the whole of the rest of the song. So that's why it's important to do another dot just before the point where you want it to stop. So you've got control over it. Okay. 
So I'm going to do it like that, and it's kind of like an opposing um, filter that's going to happen. So if I press Enter, then the cursor will go right back to the beginning. That's another good thing. And then um, press Spacebar. It's good to get used to the shortcuts. Yeah. You can see it yeah. there. Yo, all right, let's get it, man. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah, so basically that's just, you know, just a little tutorial on um, basically using automation in Logic Pro. And as I said, this can be applied to many different ways. I've showed you how you can use it as a send, um, you know, automating sends and buses and stuff. And you can also use it with the high cut frequency and the low cut frequency on the channel EQ. Um, there's other things that you can use it on. If you want to know anything more, inbox me or leave a comment, you know, on anything specific that you want to know with regards to automation if I haven't explained everything. As I said, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you um, how to do the, you know, sends and buses and stuff like that. But I'm going to do that in a different tutorial, so stay locked. Also, remember, I'm going to actually make available some settings. That you can actually download so keep an eye out for that yeah aaron drips mixtape project signing up